Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a review of Creality's Hyper Series 3D printed filament. And this is coming from the perspective of someone who has been doing 3D printing for just over a year now. It was originally with an Ender 3, but I've then upgraded in the second part of last year to a K1 from Creality. So I've had to upgrade to a faster 3D print filament and I've ended up settling on the Hyper Series. So I previously used always just the Sun Lu PLA, which I got off Amazon, good price, and it always worked brilliantly. But once I upgraded to a faster printer, that filament was just not keeping up at all. And the prints would look very visibly, not as good as of course on the slower Ender 3. And for the most part, I always stayed away from the official branded 3D print filaments like Creality, because I always assumed they would be just way higher cost for not that much extra kind of quality. And that has definitely been the case with the Ender. The Sunlun just worked great, cheaper, and looked incredibly good. But on the K1, I really did need to switch it up. And it really has become the case for me that I think Creality right now has the best high speed filament to use. And amazingly, the price is not bad. I've always been buying it in the sales. So Black Friday and the after Christmas sales, I was getting it for like 20% off on Amazon. So I've always been making sure to stock up. And the price, I think, has been pretty damn good. However, not everything is rosy with this filament, especially the white. I actually had a lot of trouble and quite a few failed prints because the filament tended to break and that would result in failed prints at points, which was, of course, not great. It's also very transparent. So it's a white filament, but super transparent. Don't have any of these issues with the black. The black has been perfect. It has literally never failed. I have never had an issue with it and it's very much a opaque. It's brilliant to print with and it looks great. Now the white one hasn't actually had any issues when the, you know, the print's finished. The quality of them is just as good. Here's a whole bunch of examples of stuff I've done with the black and white. And when the, if, if, you know, if the white prints successfully, it is just as good as the black, but a little bit more transparent. But I would recommend staying away from the white for the most part. If you don't need it, don't go for the white. I definitely feel that the actual standard of the white compared to black is lower. So if you can just print everything out on black, I think you'll have a much better time. And to me, the black is a 10 out of 10 and the white goes down to more like a seven out of 10 uh, because obviously field prints are not something you want and stuff like the filament snapping as it's going out of the reel and into the printer. And I'll also make sure to note here that I of course use and store the black and the white in exactly the same ways. I haven't done anything different, but I have had quite a few fails with the white and no fails whatsoever with the black. So I do see this as being an issue with the filament. It's also possible that maybe I got a bad batch of the white, but I would definitely say that it, it just doesn't feel structurally as good as the black. But if your print prints fine and has come out, it'll be just as strong afterwards. So it's more about just an overall potential for failed prints rather than the actual end product being bad. Now let's talk about a few nice to haves with the Creality filament as well. So the big one for me is the cardboard reels. Of course, now that I've been printing for over a year and a lot of that's been on the Ender with the Sunlu PLA, I have a ton of plastic reels. So it is really nice to have when you finish a reel of this stuff, these nice cardboard uh, filament reels to just chuck into the recycling. It's much nicer and much easier than it previously was. And I think it's a nice upgrade. And I'm not particularly too fussed about being green here. It is much nicer to be able to rip up a cardboard uh, filament reel than say a plastic one it takes up, you know, a plastic one takes up way more space with that kind of negative space it's got. Whereas the cardboard one, you can just rip it up and put it in the recycling. Much, much nicer, easier to deal with, less space taken up. So I think it's wonderful. It's also got a few nice markings on it, so it'll let you know how much weight of filament you've got with a little identifier on each side for different weights. So you can really tell how much you've got to go. Because of course, sometimes I'm thinking, do I actually have enough to finish this print in this reel? And these cardboard reels are actually very nice for showing that off. Of course, it also has a lot of the details on there as well. But yeah, cardboard reels, definitely a big fan of this. And even if I did have to pay a little bit higher in the sales for this filament over something else, um, this is actually something that makes me a little bit more likely to buy it just because again, it takes up less space when you end up throwing this out in the bin. And it, of course it's greener, but even though that's not a factor I'm too bothered about, I do like the fact that this is much easier to dispose of than the previous ones and just takes up a lot less room. 
I'll also say at this point in the video, as more people get high speed printers, I'd love to know what you are using for your filament, because I presume as people get more high speed printers, there'll be more options and brands like Sunlu will probably come out with their own high speed versions as well. So I'd love to know if there's any on the market that you guys are trying. And of course, as this video gets older, I'd love to have more and more suggestions about really good brands for high speed filament that's out there that I can go and obviously check out. And if this video is useful to you, I'd love a like and a subscribe, of course. Now I'll have on screen, and of course I've got full videos for some of the examples of what I've made with these filaments, both the white and the black. And some of the standout ones is a bit of big hammer from Rainbow Six Siege. And this thing ended up having much more rigidity than I was expecting. And that's not just, you know, entirely down to filament, but it shows that I think the filament does have a decent amount of strength to it as I printed all these pieces pretty much hollow. So overall, I would say that right now I've been enjoying printing with this filament and had no major issues other than the white one breaking from time to time. The black one has been perfect and all the 3D prints that have been successful with it come out looking really good. And the strength of them is brilliant. The overall look of them is brilliant. The black has that nice kind of uh, slight shininess to it. And the white is actually very matte when you get it printed out although a little bit more translucent than I would like, whereas no light comes through the black whatsoever. So let's move on now to more of a conclusion. So the Creality first part, a 3D filament hyper series, I think is very, very good. I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 for the most part, but that's with the black. I would drop down to like a seven out of 10 with the white because it does seem to be more brittle, more prone to issues, um, but both are perfectly good with the final print. And I haven't been doing anything too crazy about storage and keeping them perfectly dry and everything. Uh, I try to just keep them in a, a secure container and put in some silicon packets in there. And so far, these have held up just as well as any other filament that I've used. And they've definitely worked incredibly well on this very fast 3D printer. And I would definitely recommend it. So for just a quick comparison between quality of the old filament that I used to use and, of course, now the Hyper, when it comes to printing at these speeds, what you end up is a lot of warping on the outer walls, which of course is very, very visible. And this filament here really does do a great job of holding itself together and looking really good. And of course, the fact is you could tune down the high-speed printer and make it go slower, but then what's the point in getting a high-speed printer? So I do think the Creality Hyper Series here is really a good choice. I'm very surprised at this too, because like I say, I was always staying away from the first part E options just assuming that they were going to be more expensive and not really a big difference in quality but they're actually pretty good price and the quality is way better than what i'm getting out of other filament at these speeds so i highly recommend the creality hyper series which i never thought i'd actually say but yeah i would definitely recommend it anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you next time